Hi, boys and girls. This book is called How to Teach a Slug to Read. When you teach a slug to read, you should, one, start out by putting labels on his favorite things. Can you read what all of these signs say? What's this one say? Corn. What's this one say? Bug. What's this one say? Bean. And this one? Carrot. And last but not least, worm. Two. Next, find a really good book. This is very important or your slug will lose interest. The best books will have some slugs in them. And there's a lot of conversation going on on this page. Ugh, lizards eat slugs. And this book is called Hug a Bug and he's saying, no way. Mushy love stories, yuck. A tale of two termites, boring. Homework is fun. Get serious. Rhymes from Mother Slug. I want this one. Mother Slug rhymes are good. They have lots of slugs in them, and the rhymes will help your slug remember the words. Three, prop the book up close to the ground. I can't see. Four, find a rock for your slug to sit on so he can see the page better. Be patient. It will take your slug some time to climb up on the rock. And here's what the book says. Mary had a little slug. His skin was smooth as silk. She dressed him in a satin shirt and fed him bread and milk. And he's saying, I love it. Five, show your slug the words that repeat a lot. This will help him spot them right away. Once a bug, bug, bug on a rug, 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 bug learned to fly, fly, fly. Say goodbye, bye, bye. Fly, fly, bug. Whatever can the matter be? Sally Slug has climbed a tree. She'll come down at half past 10. Then she'll climb back up again. S -s -s Slug. Help your slug sound out words. Slug. Hey, I can read slug. That's pretty good considering that slug, that slug never had any foundations lessons. Seven, make a vocabulary list. Slugs love new words. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a slug who gave her a hug and told her to have a nice day. And here the slug is saying, what's a tuffet? And this slug is answering, a tuffet is a low seat. What's curds and whey? Cottage cheese. No kidding. How many of you knew that? Let your slug underline his favorite words in slug slime. Sweet Sammy slug slides through the town, upstairs and downstairs in his night gown. I see the slug slime right here. To make sure that children are tucked in their beds, and dreams of slug fairies. 
dance in their heads. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about slugs making slug slime on my books. I don't know how about you guys feel about that. Nine, read your slug's favorite poems with him as many times as he wants. Read him other books too. Now there's a lot of books here. Do you recognize any of them? But they all have different titles. The Pokey Little Slug, Slug for President, Slug and Snail are Friends, The Snail in the Hat, Go Slug Go, and To Where the Wild Slugs Are. Ha ha ha. 10. Be patient. Reading isn't learned in a day. It can take months, but don't give up. It's worth it in the end. And look how happy they all look because they're becoming great readers, just like all of you. It was a dark and stormy night. And then one day he will read books to you. It was a dark and stormy night. And look how happy the mom looks. Then he will read books to the beetles and the butterflies and the grasshoppers and the crickets and the bumblebees and the dragonflies. He may start a story hour or even a school. And the book says, once upon a slime, when all were sleeping, a slug came creeping. Books will teach him how to play slug soccer. Books will show him slugs in other lands. Books will show him the whole wide world. And all because you taught your slug to read. The end. Isn't reading great? It's one of my favorite things in the whole wide world.